so let me share uh, my PSP workflow so here I'm in new file so I will create new PSP okay tag so I will create class like so okay then I will create constructor like so okay uh, dog and get okay so this is how I create constructors so next new funks okay return get it on something like so oh getters so PSP generate getters okay it will generate all the getters so uh, if you are wondering how I did this please watch this video okay so let me share how what packages I use for better PSP workflow and what kind of snippets I use so first let's talk about snippets so if you go to tools developers okay here you get a new snippet function sorry option so here you'll see uh, the body which you want to populate when you hit tab by typing some so if, for example if I hit MET it will expand to method okay so let's first create that so uh, I want to have public function okay so here will be name of the function that should be dynamic okay so I will uh, place the uh, dollar sign one for breakpoint so next so let's uh, save that uh, let's do one thing so I will keep MET for method shortcut so tab trigger so uncomment this line also so source will be PSP now if you save that so you can create new folder and save there okay snip so here one thing you need to you can give whatever name but uh, the extension extension should be uh, sublime snippets I guess yeah sublime dash snippets okay this sublime dash snippet so that is really important okay so now if you hit MET this should expand to okay so I have already created that okay so it is so if you see when I hit tab it will stop my cursor at this location where I define this one okay so now if I hit tab it will just point me out of the function so I want my cursor here so in order to do that I will place another breakpoint here okay so this is how you place the breakpoint okay so now let's try once again here name of the function now it is placing the cursor here so this is how you so if you want uh, some default value so just wrap this inside curly braces and put colon uh, I will place default name okay so you can uh, give whatever you want as a default value as a placeholder okay so return so now let's save and let's try once again so if I hit MET so it will populate default name you can type whatever you want so this will also so now you get the idea so let me uh, show you my snippet files so here inside users my snippets so I have one uh, snippet for constructor okay so function construct like so and I place underscore C for uh, this uh, okay also make this PSP like so so this is how you create snippet you define what you want to uh, populate when you hit 
some key and tab also you define the source where uh, in which type of file this will be valid so that will be PHP and save it as dot sublime dash snippet okay just three things you need to know in order to create snippets so you can create uh, whatever you want okay so like this next uh, there is a package uh, so for example uh, here so if you are inside class like so and hit f7 it will automatically uh, creates all the properties with constructor okay so there is a package called PHP companion just search for that so control shift p you know how to so install package and uh, so in the list just type uh, PHP companion okay so um, here is the github page for that okay sublime PHP companion so here after you install that there are no default key binding okay so you need to create your own so here is the key binding of uh, the author of this package so I will use his key bindings so just just copy these all and go to preferences and key binding so this is the new feature in uh, the latest sublime version okay so if you hit key binding it will open a new window with default and user specific key bindings both okay so here just paste the uh, those key I've already pasted them okay so and save uh, so now if you for example I will create new method uh, so here if I want to use user uh, class like so okay so uh, as you have noticed you you need to use this user here in order to in order for this class to work okay so uh, previously you used to do like use app uh, user okay so with this package you don't need to uh, do that so uh, if you see key bindings here if you hit f6 it will expand the fqc and means fully qualified class name okay so let's try that so if you hit f6 okay so there are two user class so it pop, uh, pop up this uh, box so I want to use app user so f6 will expand that uh, in the place where it is so if we want to use that there is another command for that so find use so for that we just assign f5 as our shortcut so let's undo that and if I hit f5 it will show the same bar but this time it uh, imports that class okay it uses that yeah, so this is really helpful okay so it will save a lot of time so if you develop in laravel or php just grab this package okay it will save a lot of time similarly similarly you can import namespace you, you can read about them here okay so similarly you can go to definition scope that is not uh, so what I was using was F7 key to insert the PHP uh, constructor property. So if you are in this file and just hit F7, so it will populate this bit of code. So so let's do this once again. I will undo and F7 name of the property. Okay. Again, if I hit F7, it will create new. Okay so this is how i created that constructor property so another package which you really want to have is getters and setters so just search for getters and setters uh, php getters and setters so let me list my uh, packages yeah php getters and setters okay so i've already installed that's why uh, it's showing in my list packages okay so 
now uh, these are the properties okay so I want to have getter answer for them so to do that I will hit uh, I will open command palette with control shift P and I will type getters so generate this option will uh, generate the getters for all of them so this will just ask us uh, which you want to value of cat or dog so I want to have getter sensor for dog okay like this so so similarly again if I hit generate this ps uh, generate getters it will generate the getters and setters for all of them okay so sorry it will uh, only generate getters so you can play around with this package and uh, you learn a lot so these are some packages which are really important for better PHP workflow so please give uh, give me feedback in comment below okay so so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so I will see you in the next video